<laughs> I beg pardon, madame. <laughs> but it seems to me, if I'm not mistaken, that I've met you somewhere before. <laughs> to me too, sir. That I've met you somewhere before. <laughs> Could it possibly be that I caught sight of you in Manchester? That is quite possible, since I come from the city of Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clear recollection, and I can't really say whether I caught sight of you there or not. Goodness! I too come from the city of Manchester. How very extraordinary! How very extraordinary, Amy, madame, I left this city of Manchester five weeks ago, precisely. <laughs> <laughs> how, how very extraordinary, how very amazing. I too left the city of Manchester five weeks ago, precisely. You know, madame, I took a train that leaves Manchester at 8.30 a.m. and arrives in London at 4.45 p.m. exactly, madame. A very extraordinary thing. I caught the very same train, sir. How oh. <laughs> very extraordinary. And what an amazing coincidence. Perhaps, madame, we must have met in the same train. <laughs> It's quite possible, but I am not at all sure about it. You know, madame, I was travelling in the third class. How very amazing. I too was travelling third class, sir. Perhaps it was in the third class that we met, dear lady. Yeah. It's really quite possible. <laughs> but I have no recollection of it, sir. My seat was in carriage number eight, the sixth compartment. How very extraordinary. My seat was also in the sixth compartment, sir. Could it possibly be that we met in the sixth compartment, dear lady? <laughs> <laughs> After all, it's not impossible, and uh, yet I don't seem to have any recollection, sir. Madame, my seat was number three, and it was right next to the window. Oh. I had seat number six next to the window, oh. right opposite oh. you, sir. Perhaps that is where we met. <laughs> it is quite possible, but I have no recollection of it, sir. <laughs> However, it is very possible that we met on that occasion. Oh, well, yes, indeed. Certainly, indeed, sir. Madame. Wasn't it not you, the lady, who asked me to put a case on the rack, who thanked me and afterwards gave me permission to smoke? <laughs> but of course, it must have been I, sir. How very extraordinary. But then, but then, but then perhaps it was then that we met. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possible. But I have no recollection of it, sir. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Not you. 
Oh, there is devoted in me. I do live on number nine. 